Chip controls upgraded again. What the U.S. really afraid of? Hey there, folks. Recently, we saw Biden administration announce its new restrictions on exporting AI chips to China again. And guess what? They went ahead and slapped a certain Chinese GPU companies on their naughty list. But what's really surprising is their very own chip giant, Nvidia, got knocked in a flat on its back. Its stock price took a nosedive, plummeting whopping 7%. Ouch! Poor Jason Huang must cast his crying on the inside for sure. But we, it's get worse. Gina Raimondo, she says these new measures are all about plugging those pesky loopholes. And get this, they're planning on updating these measures at least once a year. You see, with this nifty chiplet technology, smaller parts of chip can be connected to form one big chip. U.S. government is worried that Chinese companies might exploit its chiplets and sneakily assemble larger chips that meet the regulations. To counter that, they've added restrictions on the performance density, which limits the computing power on chips within a certain size. It's a direct hit aimed at those crafty workarounds, folks. Now, some experts reckon that the chiplet method could very well be the future of China's semiconductor industry. Yeah, you see, the U.S. has been using national security as an excuse to put the brakes on China's development for quite some time now. But why has this anxiety disorder of theirs gotten so much worse? It's almost like they're teetering on the edge of a paranoia, right? And this latest export ban targeting China's AI chip development in a cold field of AI future, which highlights just how anxious the US has become. Today, we are gonna dig deep into all the nitty gritty of these chip sanctions. We will discuss the potential impacts if the U.S. keeps up with this restrictive stance. And hey, how far has China really come in the field of artificial intelligence? Maybe you want to know about this. And I'm Sheila Wang. I'm here to keep you updated on the latest and most cutting-edge business and investment information. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe. And if you are crushing for more detailed investing report, be sure to check out my analysis report down below. Now, let's be dive into today's topic. So, these crazy sanctions, they're not just impacting China, but also the US itself. But hold up, the effects go beyond NVIDIA. Let's dive into some specific companies and see how these sanctions are shaking things up. Firstly, the impact on the tech giant in China. Let's talk about the impact on Chinese companies that rely on chips. Now, we don't know the exact numbers, but the big players in the China have recently made some noise. They're saying, hey, we've got enough chips to last us. According to the reports, Baidu, ByteDance, Tencent, and Alibaba each ordered a whopping $1 billion worth of A800 chips totaling 100,000 chips to be delivered this year. And there's another $4 billion worth of GPU orders set for delivery in 2024. And what's more, as we all know that, where there's pressure, there's always resistance, right? Industry insiders believe that if the US bans chips in China, Chinese companies will do everything they can do to fill the gap in the market. We've got companies like More Thread and uh, Byron Touch, funded by the ex Nvidia employees, who are seen as best candidates to produce domestic or natives to Nvidia chips. But guess what? These guys are also on the naughty list now, which means Taiwanese semiconductor companies or other manufacturers using U.S. equipment are blocked from making chips for them. Here, if domestic chips can capture the market, these companies will have the cash to rapidly iterate and upgrade their technology. 
just like how Nvidia rose to power back in old days. Meanwhile, Huawei is making moves as we've seen lately and releasing a bunch of AI products, domestic computing power is only an option for China. They've got this chip called the Ascend series processor, which is an NPU based on Huawei's self-developed DaVinci architecture. And let me tell you, it's packing some serious punch. It's on par with NVIDIA's flagship A100 and is mainly used for high-end servers and cloud computing. In fact, in a recent announcement of AI servers by China Telecom, nearly half of the servers were using domestic chips. And I guess with the help of US ban, that member is gonna skyrocket. Now let's talk about why the US has been getting so jumping and anxious about China's development. Using national security as an excuse, I recently came across an analysis by Zoltan Pazza, and he really hit a new on the hand. He talks about how the existing world order is crumbling, how the US and West are strategizing to maintain their power. These cheap sanctions are part of that strategy. The US is trying to slow down China's technological progress to reshape the balance of power in the future. Slowing down China's development buys them time to establish their own chip factories within their borders, which they can use to defend their hegemony with missile systems. Recent developments include the US trying to ban ASML from selling DUV lithography machines to China and restricting other chip manufacturing processes and software products to curb China's semiconductor ambitions like SMIC. So there you have it guys, these chip sanctions are causing quite a stir. It's not just impacting China but also the US itself. It's a delicate balance of power and a game of chess being played out in the tech world. And we are the people who live in a changing era.